Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Maintaining the walk is the key aspect of this cooking system. I'm going to show you a few simple steps that, with minimum effort, you can maintain your walk easily and regularly. Your new carbon steel wok is likely to be unseasoned. Uh, you need to wash the wok carefully and thoroughly to remove the protective covering. Uh, after you've done that, I'm going to show you how to season your wok with a few simple steps. Uh, I have created a YouTube video to show you how to do that, and you can watch that YouTube video. Uh, in contrast to the carbon steel wok, uh, your light cast iron wok is likely to be pre-seasoned, so you can start using it right away. Uh, keeping your wok well seasoned is important to prevent the food from sticking and being burned. Now, some food actually add seasoning to the wok, whereas some other foods remove seasoning from the wok. The seasoning process is based on chemical changes on the surface of the wok due to high heat. It results in forming tiny microscopic gaps that will be filled by hot oil. And the oil under heat will polymerize to form a protective layer to prevent food from uh, sticking and from burning. Uh, many methods have been described how to season the wok, uh, but the principle is the same. Over the years, I have tried different methods in how to season a wok. The best method I discovered to season a wok is by frying an egg. This method is efficient because not only it seasons the wok, it also allows you to test the effectiveness of the seasoning at the same time. Uh, the gold standard of a uh, well-seasoned carbon steel or cast iron cookware is that when you fry an egg in it, the egg will not stick to the surface of the cookware. I discovered that my carbon steel wok or like cast iron wok, if it is not well seasoned, if I fry an egg in it, the egg will stick to the wok and make a big mess. However, when the wok is well seasoned, you can tell because the egg will dry across the surface of the wok freely without any obstruction. The first assignment is for those who purchase a carbon steel wok that is unseasoned, and your task is to clean the wok according to the instructions that I shown in my YouTube video. Uh, you then fry an egg for the first time to season the wok. Uh, I would like you to send me a photo of what happened to the egg as you as your report uh, for this assignment. Uh, you then fry a second egg and report to me what happened in this case. So this assignment for those of you who purchase a uh, light cast iron wok, which is already pre-seasoned, I would like you to fry an egg in it and report to me what happened to the egg uh, with a photograph. Now your wok should be properly seasoned. So the next assignment is to test whether the wok is well seasoned or not. In this assignment, you will make a one egg uh, cheese omelette. You simply beat up an egg, heat up your wok, add one tablespoon of canola oil, and then just pour the egg into the wok and let the egg fry for about uh, oh, 10 seconds and then sprinkle some uh, uh, grated cheese and then let it cook another 5 to 10 seconds and then you fold the egg over and you should see that the egg should be able to glide freely over the surface of the wok. If it's not, it means that the wok is not properly seasoned. And send me a photo of your final product. But the third assignment is to show you how uh, the wok can lose its seasoning by cooking certain type of food. And in this case, it's by boiling spaghetti in the wok. Uh, so what you do is that you fill the wok half full of water, bring it to boil and add some spaghetti to it. And then when the water come up to boil again, you set it to medium. And then you set your timer for seven minutes. When it is done, you drain the uh, wok and then uh, you rinse the wok and you wash it with soap. After you dry the wok, uh, you will fry an egg in it and I'd like you to report to me what happened when you fry this egg. So the final assignment is that uh, I'd like to demonstrate to you that you can use the wok to cook other type of food that you normally cook in a, a skillet. Uh, I'd like you to make something that you normally uh, will cook in a, a frying pan or skillet and some of the examples which I would like to give it to you like how to make a grilled cheese sandwich, uh, making a hamburger, uh, frying a piece of chicken or um, just simply uh, making hot dogs and I would like you to send me your results. So at the end you will see how to season a wok and what are the functionality of the wok in serving other type of cooking needs that you might have at, in your kitchen.